Mammalian telomeres are protective structures at the ends of chromosomes. The enzyme telomerase, composed of two subunits, the telomerase reverse transcriptase and the RNA component, is used as a template for the de novo addition of telomeric repeats to chromosome ends. Adult tissues, including the stem cell compartments, do not have sufficient telomerase activity to compensate for the progressive telomere shortening associated with cell division throughout lifespan. When telomeres reach a critically short length, this triggers activation of a persistent DNA damage response at telomeres and the subsequent induction of cellular senescence or apoptosis. Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, a fatal lung disease characterized by fibrotic foci and inflammatory infiltrates, is a telomere syndrome associated with premature telomere shortening in humans. In spite of its prevalence, this condition is still a life-threatening degenerative lung disease with few available therapeutic options. An important limitation to the development of new therapeutic strategies has been the lack of appropriate preclinical mouse models. We recently demonstrated that treatment with low doses of bleomycin, which normally do not lead to pulmonary fibrosis in wild-type mice, however, results in full-blown progressive pulmonary fibrosis in telomerase-deficient mice. In this study, we used a telomerase reverse transcriptase-based gene therapy in mice diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis owing to treatment with low doses of the lung-damaging agent bleomycin in the context of short telomeres. Our findings demonstrate that telomerase reverse transcriptase treatment significantly improves pulmonary function, decreases inflammation, and accelerates fiber disappearance in fibrotic lungs as early as three weeks after viral treatment, resulting in a more rapid improvement or disappearance of the fibrosis. At the molecular level, this treatment results in telomere elongation and increased proliferation of alveolar type 2 cells, also significantly decreasing DNA damage, apoptosis, and senescence in these cells. Further supporting these findings, telomerase treatments induces gene expression changes indicative of increased proliferation, lower inflammation, and decreased fibrosis in isolated alveolar type 2 cells. We provide a proof of principle that telomerase activation may represent an effective treatment for pulmonary fibrosis provoked or associated with short telomeres.